Because yes. to make your crew, uh, your your uh, frame with a glue bar, a bar, a top bar, then you have to bend this and, and to get it in there because you bend it and bend it so it fits in both of the slots. And secondly, you have to for, you know, just feed them as much as possible so that they have something to do. Otherwise, I didn't bring it along. I thought I had it. But otherwise, they'll even eat the wax off of these. That's my experience. Uh, I could have bought a frame just like that. Uh, it's just like a bowl spot. Yeah. You know, they, they'll eat, eat the wax off, and they'll, they'll get a bowl spot, maybe the whole thing. So with the uh, wax foundation, uh, you know, you'll have just a frame with a big hole in it. The other way, if you're using the groove the top bar, you're with me with the difference between the two? Then, then it's best is to uh, nail the end bars on, leave this off, then put the wax in there, and then put this on, and then nail it again. It's a, it kind of, kind of defeats the purpose of being easy to do. <laughs> No, uh, I, I got ahead on the nailer. When you nail the um, frames together, uh, I, I did it wrong for many years and I suffered because of it. I used to put two nails on top, and that's the way it shows there. Two nails here, and then uh, I nail, I use little tiny nails on the side of the river because these are not heavy, not heavy, they don't pull those off. They don't use uh, come along to take it off and so on. All right. <clears throat> what I've been doing is what could be able to do. I put a nail on this one side. If you notice the wedge bar frame, you take the wedge bar uh, wedge out. Then it leaves that little depth. But the other side is deep, so you can pound a nail in. Put one nail on either end in that one side, and you only have to put one nail on the top. I put nails in the edges here so that they don't fall apart. If you don't put some kind of nails in the edge here, but the smartest one is to put over here. You don't do that, and you go to try the frames out, or you go to pull the frames out, you pull the stop on that off. <laughs> Maybe figure out how long it's going to take the frame right inside it, and then of course you still can't get that back together. Are you using a nail gun then? And are you throwing I don't use a nail gun, but I have to have my board in there if I'm going to use my, my um, embedding tool because it comes with this in the easel. This is a uh, groove top bar with uh, just the plastic. And, it's just the foundation without the rest of the frame. Put them together, they have wood, but they still do the same thing with the tool. Uh, uh, we bought some hives, and the supers come with the, the comb, honeycomb thing built in. Uh, you haven't shown that yet. Is that not going to work? It looks like a complete, you know, where they fill the holes? You mean, you mean the, the bees have already drawn the comb? Um, well, you pull out the super, and it's not a flat inside. You know, the homes, the combs are deep, so yeah. it looks like the bees would just fill them. Is that not usable, or oh, yes. It, yes? Is that I haven't seen you show that yet. Is that a, no? I don't have any. Uh, is that not a good no, system to use, or yeah? Like, if if you have drawn the comb, drawn the comb. Okay. If you have that, and you may have some bees that died in there and so on, but you can put that right there with the bees, so long as it's not disease and so on. You can see that they uh, smell like dirty socks, people don't smell dirty socks. Uh, you know, uh, they smell bad. And it don't just tear it out. But if they have it drawn, and maybe they have some uh, dead bees in their heads in, and probably scars and so on, they put that in with your bees and they'll clean it out. And they'll, that just speeds up things for them. Because if you start out with this, I get a foundation. If you start out with this, They've got to build the, the uh, cells up and right. draw the cells. So is there a disadvantage for the system we have? Should we switch to a different type of super? 
No, it's okay to use that. No. No. Those I've had for about 50 years. Okay. Especially if they're a honey screw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think what you're saying is it looks like this. Yeah, it looks no. just like yeah, that. All right. And yeah. so that's where you and, and if it's in a uh, big frame or in a uh, high body for the root chamber, um, like he was saying, that if there are bees, uh, people that have bees now, if they go out and check, then they may be dead. And they'll be all clustered. And, some, and, and if they starve to death, because they couldn't move that far to get food, like this morning, it was six below or something, uh, and, and they, they'll, they'll all be in their head first. And have last year, frame them. Yeah, and somebody asked, called me last year from the class, and she had a hive like that that died. And she wanted to know if she needed to scrape those or dig those all out eventually. <laughs> and you just put them back in the hive and the bees will and put in your new bees and they'll clean them up and up and dig. How do they clean them up? Like, do they eat, do they eat the other bees or do they just clean no, it up? No, they, 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 they pull them out and okay. take them out. Okay. okay. Really? Uh, we have, any of you haven't been to Myrick Park at, uh, or Eco Center, Eco Park now, we have an observation by myself and uh, uh, clean them up, take care of that. And you'll see bees running around, dragging various things, especially if they're kind of closed in for a period of time, and it happens to be a dead bee. Here's, uh, it's not there now, but it will be this time. Right, it's not there now. But we, uh, there's the duties of the bee, we'll get into that, but there's the duties of the bees, and one of them is to clean the cell off. I mean, clean, we're not laying egg in that if it isn't clean. It's just like a mother of a child. Clean your woman. Okay. So that frame that he has there that was full of comb, that's wax, right? Yeah, yeah that's so that, 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 that originally looked like that brand new one. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, yes, it will. Yeah. And how long does it take to get from that to that? Depends on, well, it depends on the time. In the spring of the year, if you're starting where most of you are going to do this after one session even, um, if you're going to do this, uh, you buy your equipment, uh, get it all ready, and, <coughs> and so on. And you just have that wax in whatever way you decide to go. Uh, then you just need to feed them continually, and they will then build that, that out. And it, they can build out a couple of these things in a day. One thing at the cabinet is I noticed this especially in those uh, that plastic frame that I told you about the straw had that. And the queen had laid eggs in there and that comb wasn't fully drawn out. They still had to draw it out for the see the egg uh, is three days. And they were still drawing that out. And they want to have it drawn out a certain depth because that B is a certain size. So they were still building it while she was laying eggs. So she gets a little rim uh, made, she'll start laying eggs in there. She's full eggs. She wants to get the little eggs late. She's a thousand, two thousand eggs a day in the summertime. In the summertime. That's what well, that's almost cold and boys that we're getting to go. Well, well were those cold that's what were those cold? You wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, I don't think. The difference between uh, if you had the, the beast eye between the cold and the dark blue chamber as opposed to a honey super cell. They're the same size. And uh, they claim both of them. They claim both of Those cells are all a perfect six sided. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that we kind of throw in here that we, that we go along and then. You want me here to help you apologize for that? Uh, uh, so I hope I remember it the next time about when we are determining location and so on. Uh, uh, <clears throat> beekeepers tend to be innovative 
and, and I don't know, this is probably 50 years or more than that, when I bought some bees from a person that passed away. Well, no, I did it directly from him, but it, <laughs> And then the sides are grooved. So it works really well for that Duragil, because you can nail your frame together, just like, and then you can just slide it right down through the, uh, the slot here, and it'll fit right in there, and it's wedged in, in here. It works just as well, because I, I just don't use Duragil, uh, <coughs> and uh, with the pure uh, beeswax. I'm just prejudiced, and just remember it's just me talking about myself. I'm just prejudiced against that plastic. I think it's cold in the wintertime, and probably, as some of my students here, uh, here think I'm crazy. <laughs> and, and, um, but, um, I, I, and then I wire it. And that was cross wire. Now, there's, there's a number of ways of wiring them. I just run it back and forth through this. So, and we can talk more about that next time. We're getting seven minutes. Yeah, but I have cross wiring. I have this uh, type of uh, wiring. Uh, always have, if, if you have a uh, wire, two wires, one strand of the wire goes on one side of the foundation. And I won't say it a but I, we were talking about that, and he says, I was wondering how you do that. He said, for years I've been doing the wire on the same side, but I always thread it on opposite sides. Uh, I even got so cheap, so cheap, that I put one wire. But to do that, I threaded it through doing the wire. This is the whole thing. Okay? Totally got peekaboo there. Okay? But, uh, so you can, you can wire, you can save wire, you buy the wire and 5,000 people hold. I would assume that maybe that has been in a, a box no. and it's not used. Uh, it, it's kind of warped. It, it's not perfect. You know. It's important that it's in there pretty straight. Yeah. And usually the manufacturers do manufacture. One manufacturer from New Zealand, man. You get those together, normally don't have to nail it. <laughs>